Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of the tutorial. We are working on creating this scene using Maya and Mixamo. We already got our uh, character in Maya from Mixamo. Now we have to add a camera. So go to create cameras camera. We go to panels perspective camera. Look through the camera. Go to view camera settings resolution gate. The resolution gate has to be 1280 by 720. So you'll go to render settings and change the width and height to 1280 by 720. Okay. Now we need to bring in a background image. So I'll go to file, image plane, import image. And you can use any image that you think is appropriate. I have this image. Okay. Uh, for my background, as you can see in the video. Now you can see that the character. this one and go to view frame selection okay then we need to know where the camera is view select camera so you can see that the camera and the plane are here and the character is here okay so the plane has to go beyond the character so if you select the image plane then you can make make it look through the camera all views it will be seen in each view click on fit resolution gate i'll make this big so you can see fit resolution gate and the depth if you make it from 1 to 10, you can see now the plane has gone beyond the character and now the character is visible in the scene. Okay, here you have to make adjustments to your camera. So your character looks like he is on the ground. Okay, so you can see that he is walking there. You can move it around. So hit the render button. All right, and because there are no lights, you don't see the character. Again, this black. Click on the resolution gate. It should have fixed the problem. Let us click on fit resolution gate and render it again. Okay, so that fixed the problem. Now we are rendering using Arnold Renderer. Okay, so we go to Arnold Renderer and we'll go to Arnold Lights and a physical sky. Okay, and then you hit the render button. You should have nicely lit character. Okay, so you have the character visible. You can see that the shadows are there on the character. There are no shadows on the ground. So we need to create a plane. Make it big. Okay, and then we're going to assign a new material. So right click, assign new material. I'm going to use AI shadow matte material. Okay, 
So what it will do is it will cast shadows but will not be visible in render. Okay, so you can see there are shadows. Now there's this strip on top that's like the the sky horizon line. Get rid of this. What you have to do is select the sphere. The sphere is for the light and slightly rotate it up. That will get rid of that light. Then uh, in the render settings, it increase in the Arnold renderer, increase these to 6, these to 3. Let's increase the number so you get better quality shadow. So the grains will go away. And then the top line will go away because of the rotation of the light sphere. Oh, we selected the wrong camera angle. Cancel that. Select the camera and then render it. And then you can assign a material to the character. You can change the settings in the light so that the shadows are longer or shorter based on what you like. Select the character, right click, assign new material. I'll use AI standard surface, which is the Arnold material. It's white. Metalness is zero. Specular, I don't want any specular, so I'll make that zero. Transmission. I don't need any transmission. Emission. If I add some emission, I get some bright color. Okay. That's what I want. And the button. So I'll get a whitish looking character. So that looks good. 